More inferences seem to suggest what really happened to the Air France flight over the Atlantic now. Nine days after the jetliner crashed uh, on a flight between Rio de Janeiro and Paris, there are indicators that faulty airspeed indicators may have, may have caused the accident in which uh, 228 people died. Vishnu Shom has the latest. As an international team recovers more bodies and more wreckage from Air France Flight 447, there are now indicators that the needle of suspicion points to faulty airspeed sensors on the Airbus A330 jet. According to reports, the pitot tubes on the jets, it's located on the outside of the fuselage in the front, may have been covered in ice or obstructed, resulting in faulty airspeed readings being sent to the cockpit of the jet. Now, Air France has now promised pilots that they'll replace these sensors on its fleet of Airbus A330 and A340 jets within days. Aviation experts believe inaccurate airspeed readings on the display in the cockpit, primarily these two displays, the one over here and the one over here, which shows airspeed and shows altitude, may have resulted in the jet flying either too fast or too slow. As a result, the jet, which was flying through bad weather, could have stalled and plummeted to the sea or perhaps gone too fast and broken up midair because of the extreme stresses. Now, this piece of wreckage the tail appears to have been shorn clean off the fuselage, leading many to believe that the jet may have gone through a catastrophic structural failure in its final moment.